What is up guys? I am Daps. This is Dap Sports. Congrats to all the Giannis investors. We are one day out after the NBA championship. Honestly guys, I was never a huge Giannis believer. I'm not a Giannis hater. I think he had a relatively easy way to the championship, but nonetheless, no excuses. This dude dropped 50 points in a closeout game. You have to respect it. Congrats Giannis. He's got a great resume. Two-time MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, five-time All-Star, five-time NBA, and now he's got an NBA Finals and a Finals MVP. You have to give credit where credit's due. He got the job done. He got it done in six games. Beat D-Book, beat CP3. Congrats to Giannis and the Bucks. Congrats to Milwaukee. Congrats to Aaron Rodgers, who owns part of the Bucks and doesn't even play for Green Bay. All right, guys, let's announce the free box Friday winner from last week. Remember, we gave away a Prism Mega Box. We announced the winner on, I think, Monday or Tuesday night in our Instagram Live this week. And whoever won, who won? I'm a Viking one. Congratulations, I'm a Viking. You won this Mega Box. We did not see you in the Instagram Live. Please come claim your prize. You can DM Sister Daps on Instagram or you can hop in the live at Dap Sports on TikTok or Instagram this week to claim your box. You're gonna have to wait till the end of the episode to find out what Free Box Friday is this week. All right, let's get into some cards, guys. First card I wanna talk about is LaMelo, Rookie of the Year. Look at this, this comes out of Anini Contenders, guys. Really pretty card. Guys, this card is floating around 50, 60 bucks raw. Remember, NBA has just entered the off season. Prices will go down and down and down, especially as preseason of football begins, and then the season begins, all the eyeballs will be on Herbert and Mahomes and Brady and all the football players, and they're not on NBA players and that's where your buying op is. So, if you buy this card, you send it in a PSA. Remember guys, I wanna go over this as well. PSA just opened their Express option again, 200 bucks a card. They will slowly release probably a $100 option, then a $50 option. The lower the price, the longer it's gonna take for you to get your card back. So, on a card like this, if you have a $100 option on Lomelo right now and you buy it for 60 bucks, you're invested 160 with the grading fee and the card, right? You gotta clear two, 300 bucks, right, to make money. But listen, again, even if you clear 300 and you double your money on this card on a PSA 10, nice work. Now, issue is PSA 9. How much is that worth? That's where you're going to be at your break-even point, guys, right? So you can't submit one card and bank on making a lot of money on one card. You have to invest smart, right? You have to invest in 10, 20, 30 cards, right? And you have to say, I'm going to try to get 30% of those to be a PSA 10, and that's how you'll make your money. You'll break even on most of the nines, and every single 10 you get, that's where the amp amplifier will be, right? You get a couple tens that make you two, three hundred bucks and you break even on the rest or you lose 20 or 30 bucks on a couple nines. That $300 profit on each card, that's where your profit is, all right? Another card from Panini Contenders I pulled, guys, was the lottery ticket Lamello. This is going off to PSA. Guys, I'm not going to send this in on a $200 submission. It's the lottery ticket Lamello. Look at all that color, guys. Again, around 60 bucks on eBay, really, really nice price point for a card with such color, really, really pretty. Again, I'm not gonna send this one in on a $200 submission. I don't think that's worth it, but I do think this card will go up in price as the season starts, definitely break $100 raw. So now you gotta factor these things in. If this does become $100 raw, like I think, and you pay 50 bucks, let's say, and you get a PSA 10, now you're invested 110 in the card. If you paid 60, now how long do you have to wait? A year? You need to consider these things when you're buying cards and when you wanna submit them to PSA. If you don't mind waiting a year and you believe in LaMelo, Buy 10, 20, 30 Lamellos. Send them in, wait a year, get them all back. That's real profit, all right? That's a more long-term strategy. You could do that for a five-year strategy or 10-year strategy if you think Lamello's the guy. There's other quick flips where you could buy a card, pay a higher fee to submit it and get it back faster and then sell it, right? Another interesting little buy, guys. Check this out. Patty Mahomes Flamethrower out of Phoenix. An SGC 10 recently sold for about 70 bucks. So if you could snag this for cheap and get it to PSA and get it back. Listen, Mahomes collectors, this is a really, really colorful card. A Mahomes collector is definitely going to like it. But again, guys, you might not have enough time to do this one, right? Because if you pay $100 for this card and you don't get it back for three months and Mahomes is mid-season, listen, Mahomes is lights out. His value might go up in the middle of the season. But I don't recommend that strategy. I recommend buying things for NFL right now that you could flip before the season starts, okay? So if you're gonna buy this for 70 bucks, 
what can you sell it for before the season? 100? Maybe? I don't know. That might not be worth your time. So you might need to look at higher price points if you're trying to do a quick flip right? And then you have to have the cash available to make that flip. But if you want to submit this to PSA for 25 or 50 bucks and try to get that 10, wait six months to get it back, sell it next off season, that's a strategy as well. But again, guys, I don't recommend buying football right now unless you're going to do a 30 day flip. I recommend buying basketball for the next 30 to 60 days now that we're in the off season. Now, check this card out. Jalen Hurts. Look at that patch, guys. Three colors, white, gray, and the black in the corner there. Guys, this is numbered out of 35. Look at that, guys. 35. This is out of Panini Phoenix, which doesn't command the highest price point, but this is a $20 card on eBay. I don't believe that's an accurate price. I think you could sell this for 40, 50, 60 bucks all day long. If you could find a card like this at a 35 for 20 bucks, that's a buy. Guys, let's talk about Vladdy again. I know we talked about him in the past. This is his rookie debut right here. Guys like Vlad, Tatis, Otani, we've talked about them before. Their prices are kind of high right now because they're all in that MVP race, but be on the lookout for them after the season ends. Again, off season guys, off season, off season, off season. That's when you want to rebuy all these guys. And then before the season starts next year, they'll all pop. I bought a ton of Tatis mid season last season, sold it before last season started, forexed my money. There's going to be plenty of opportunities like that. All right. I spent about a thousand dollars on Tatis. I held for about six months before the season start and I made about 4,000 bucks. That's a nice return, all right, in six months. Now, if I had done that with 10 or $20,000, you do the math. Last card we're gonna talk about, guys, the newest NBA champion, our boy, Aaron Rodgers. Look at that mosaic number 79, guys, is numbered to 50 down here. 50. There's only one of these I've seen on eBay recently. It was a best offer accepted of $100. So it probably sold for around 75. Again, Rogers, what's going to happen? We don't know. If you don't like the uncertainty of Rogers, don't invest in him. Buy the quarterbacks who you think are going to be good long term. Again, guys, please listen to my recommendations. You only have a small window to buy football. I would definitely use your eyes and your ears and your whatever else you use. Use whatever you got. Use your brain. All right. Buy basketball Ball, please 30 to 60 days I know you guys want to buy football but I'm telling you not the best time a lot of people are gonna get caught holding a bag right now because you invest in a guy he gets injured cam makers I'm so sorry to hear this news. He just tore his ACL the other day. So anybody who invested in Cam Akers, guess what? They got to hold those Cam Akers cards for at least another year. Now guys, let's get into the reason you're all here. Three box Friday. All right guys, drum roll please. There's nobody in here. It's just me. We are giving away a select mega box. Let's go to the moon. We will announce the winner Friday night in the Instagram live stream, guys, and on TikTok. So check us out on TikTok or Instagram, wherever you want to join us in the live. The camera is usually a little bit better on Instagram if you want to watch in that stream. Good luck to everybody. All you need to do to enter the free box Friday contest is comment your favorite NFL team below. If you can please add your TikTok or Instagram handle to the comment, we can locate you a little bit faster. If you win, we can send you a DM. I'm a Viking one. We don't know his TikTok handle. We don't know his Instagram handle. So you've got to be watching this I'm a Viking to try and claim your prize. All right. That's what I recommend. So anybody who's new here, if you want to enter the free box Friday contest, favorite NFL team below, please let us know your Instagram or TikTok handle so we can reach out to you. I will catch you guys next week.